Well, hello guys. Welcome to episode um, three of the uh, of the third club in um, this journeyman save. Uh, we are here. I'm just going to have a look where at the uh, at the stadium where we where we are. So um, last time we last club we were at, we were in Urubu. So we moved from. Uh, Gotner, which I think is around, around this area here, if I can remember rightly, it was near Rumea. Um, I think it was kind of just inland, that sort of area. Down to Urubru, which is down here, just left of Stockholm, or west as they say, those who know directions. And we are now all the way over here on this very western side of, of Norway. So we're right at the very tip of Norway, as I said in a previous episode, south of, of Bergen who are somewhere I recognize in the city of Stavanger as as I mentioned if we go in a little bit closer you can see we're sitting right on the edge of this kind of harbor or whatever it is uh, it's a volleyball court over there nice and uh, this match there where they sell all the matches so we're gonna have a little look at the stadium as we like to do let's hit that satellite view oh look at this this is pretty nice Match has now moved by the look of it. This is where they play the match in that tiny little area. Let's just have a look what this stadium looks like from the outside. And then I want to have a little look inside and what people say about the stadium. It looks a goodie. Oh, oh look at that. Viking. There's the flag. Clinken. Oh, look at this. This is proper, my friends. This is proper. Not that Obru was proper as well. What am I saying? But this looks really, really nice. Look at this. Look at the, I mean, look at that door. Have you ever seen a door so wonderfully situated? It's probably not even part of it. But yeah, that is that is a nice looking uh, stadium. Nice bit of parking as well for the um, for the fans. There's nothing worse than a stadium with no parking. Although, to be fair, I don't think <laughs> I think you'll need a little bit more than that. But yeah, we won't say anything, but it looks a decently sized stadium. I like the you know the mountains or the hills, mountains in in the background or the distance all around. This looks really really good. I've just clicked somewhere random. I don't know where I am now. This is sort of mid midtown somewhere. Oh, look, Bill, look, look at that roundabout. Look at it. <laughs> Yeah, I do like this place. I think it looks. I think it looks really good. Right, we're going to go back to the um, the top view. Right, and so after after having a huge amount of issues there trying to actually get it um, to do what I wanted, we we see here this is the SR Bank Arena. I guess as it's um, as it's been been named. You know, it's got a railway track running just by it. I guess that was what we were looking at. That weird sort of shape building it's a very strange looking building I don't know what they keep in there a large snake maybe it does look an impressive an impressive stadium and it nicely it's on the outskirts as well so you've got um i mean i don't know what the sort of main area where the main area of stavanger is I mean, it looks a fairly large old city so it's right on the outskirts it's another club there so what's that one because it didn't look like there were any other clubs in stavanger but that says Stavanger Stadium, so maybe that's a different sport. Anyone in the, anyone who lives there or knows what we're talking about, please, please let me know. Right, we're gonna have a little look at what people say about uh, this this here stadium. Four point three stars, not bad. Right, okay. Then it looks like they've got a mal there as well, so we'll ignore that. Only three stars. Uncle Pear, what are you doing, mate? Although you know, you said there's a very good Thai restaurant. Football club. I presume you mean club there, Viking. I, I think that is just a review of the entire city, perhaps. Stadium is okay, but not for concerts. Okay, you, you know, I, I could tell you that, mate. Could tell you that. Good weather, good atmosphere, good result. Nice. I wonder if that was a home away fan. Small stadium. That's a bit rude, sort of backhanded compliment. Atmosphere needs some improvement in comparison to certain arenas in other countries. Maybe the new camp. Mm. Be hard to get that, but you know, we'll, we'll try. He still gave us gave you five stars though. 
home of the Stavanger dark blue Vikings. Nice atmosphere. See, he doesn't agree with you. With its own family angst fan zone for kids of all ages. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> so you've got an area for really immature people i suppose most football grounds have that it's called behind the goal um the best yeah nice stadium f good food good conference facilities didn't like the football though this <laughs> is the most i mean why bother even writing that a nice big place to watch the local football team play and they've got some grass on the uh, middle of it and uh some seats around the outside of it. It was very interesting. Ten months ago, that review, so well done. This building has been mistakenly labelled as a road. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, mate. Easy access to the train station. That's not really why I pick a stadium. But, you know, there we go. Placed in a beautiful arena, which is great for picnics. You're not allowed to picnic, I don't think, in the middle of a pitch. But I might be wrong. Let's let's go down. Oh God, <laughs> one star. Went to the Saab Thai restaurant. No, let's go. Let's, they don't mark the entrances properly. No, no, nor keep staff that can inform where to go to the right places. Really angry. God, good God. Let's go to the. Uh, I, I I want the ones where I can um, translate. Unless we see something fun, come back until we find one of those. Oh, look at that! I've got a picture. Viking! And he looks a little surprised to be there. God service. Nice. Well, I mean, you can't say better than that. Cozy. Fin, fin station. What's, <laughs> what's, a, what's a fin station? Do you sell fins? Is that a local delicacy? Ah, oh, here we go. Translated, always good. Fantastic facility, great arrangement around big... I mean, that does not even funny. I'm not happy with that. Great arena, extra trains are set up after the game and good parking. A little queue and some time to run out after the match. But queuing is working. <laughs> queuing is working and that's what we've learnt today. When I was there in the summer of 2019, it was a Bon Jovi concert. It was magical. And if you were there in the summer of 69, I'd imagine it would be a Brian Adams concert. The country's best and finest stadium when it was new. Now it bears the marks of wear. <laughs> Several seats should be replaced. <laughs> cool space. Reasonably okay to find the entrance and easy to find seating. That's what happens in a stadium. A little chaos in the kiosk that dragged down the experience a bit and the scout had a bad attitude towards the opposing <laughs> what did he do but all in all a terrific experience with women's matches angry scout oh we got back to bon jovi again skilled guards gentle staff great experience with well uh, oh with the with the exception of the deployed restrooms and the planning of 2500 guests yeah well yeah that's fair enough Great arena, but a little small selection of the too few kiosks that are open during the game. Overpriced. I guess I guess these kiosks are talking about food, aren't they? So they do a, a poor... Well, they don't have enough burger shacks, basically. So remember, if you go there, take, take a burger. Cashless can burn, but otherwise an amazing facility. Wow. What on earth does that mean? Right. We'll finish on this one. Uh, great, good toilet facilities during, I'm not going to even try and say that, that concert. The, the thing they've got to say about this, most of all, concert included, is that the toilet facilities were good, so they must be bloody good. Final payment with bank card, but was shocked with how many rusty chairs had been. <laughs> That's the second person who's mentioned the rusty chairs. Full of people, tribulation, rain, handsome concert. On that, we end. Goodbye. <laughs> right, let's go and see some football. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, and, yeah, you can see where we are in the league. We we had that win, and we haven't won a game since then in, in the league. We've only lost one, and 
we'll, we'll come to the results uh, of that in a, in a second. Tactically, I have in the last few games sort of changed it up a bit. I'm just not happy with the sort of long ball wide tactic. So I've, I've narrowed it up a bit. I've sort of in, in, I've pushed the line a little bit further forward and we're now passing short and we're going to try and sort of work our way through teams. I think that sorts, that works us out a little bit better. The other thing we're really missing is a defensive midfielder. We've got Hadou in there at the minute. I don't think he's the answer, um, but that's, I think, what we, we are missing. Um, yeah, so games, teams that we've played, um, it doesn't look bad at all, does it? Um, so we had that this is the game you saw and then we played start we absolutely smashed them over the game just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net which was a bit disappointing so nil nil it's a point we'll take it and then we've had a lot of away games and this is part of the reason i think we haven't picked up quite as many points as we might so we played then eggerson who a lower league side we we were five nil up and then let a couple of goals in right at the end um disappointing that we we conceded the goals but we we played we played really well in that game. Then against Hamcam, this was a tough away game, and we battled. And I was really happy with the one-one draw. That was a that was a solid result. Then against Stabak, who are a better side, I we were we were two 0 down, and we looked terrible in the first half. In the second half, we looked so much better. Uh, and this is where I'd started to play around with maybe a shorter formation, a shorter passing style. Um, and it made a massive difference. Collender got a goal and we were then pushing for it. And then they scored, you know, late on a couple of goals late on as we were trying to push for it. So it 4-1 looks terrible, but it wasn't really a 4-1 game. Likewise, we won 4-1 here in the most ludicrous of games in this against this lower league side. We were massively rotated. Um, and I ended up having to bring a lot of the big names on to win the win the game. Uh, but again, we were trying to play the long, longer style early on and it just didn't work they 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 kind of battled against it and you know the chance they had they scored um that looks like a beer logo doesn't it <laughs> look like a football team that should be on the front of a beer so it was they went one nil up and looked not uncomfortable in that so i changed it up and you can see we we played very very well after that and we had some like 40 shots in the game after only having about five shots in the first half so there was a big difference there when we changed it and we're coming up here against Tromso. Now, Tromso is a side and I don't know why I didn't notice this before but they are a side I definitely want to play against they're they're one of the earliest memories I have of a sort of weird and wonderful club um a European club in when playing football games so sensible soccer was that that game brilliant brilliant game I it was just a a game changer that one absolutely loved it and tromso i'm pretty sure it was tromso it was either tromso or malmo it's definitely ending in an o i think it was tromso were one of the teams i went up against so there you go <laughs> fun but it's not even a fact is it it's just, it's just a i don't even know if it's true <laughs> but yeah what, what what's your earliest football game memory let me know in the comments right let's go in and see what we can do as you can see they've got a better um, they're, they're doing better um, against us in, in history they've got better form, we're inconsistent but we are favourites somehow for this so uh, that's that's fine team wise uh, this is what we're going with we are going to have Vickney in goal um, Pereira who's been really good at left back, uh, Beckham uh, right back he's the youngster, he's sort of made that place his own, Luken, Ludvigsen um has has been doing okay in that position. He's not. I mean, he's not brilliant, is he? No, just a second, just a second. That's not who I want. This is the guy I want. The uh, yeah, yeah, that that guy. And we're gonna try, we're gonna try Vedvik in there, um, and give Brawson a bit of a rest. He's not been absolutely brilliant, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give him a bit bit of time off. Then Colander and Hadou in the middle, uh, Biolo on the left, Baxio on the right, and Dalby and Nagash up top. And we'll see if we can get something out of these. These two, these two are a bit good. Uh, the wide players, these two have been a bit quieter than I'd like. Nagash, you know, he flatters to deceive a little bit. Um, only one goal in the Premier League, 6.65 average rating. He's doing better in the Norwegian Cup, but I'd like to see more from him. Uh, Dalby did score in the last game. 
let's see what we can do anyway. I, I've I've got hopes, hopes and dreams for this. So I, I don't know. I don't know whether we'll make it. The other thing I've randomly found is that uh, so they're going with a one up top strategy. How how modern? Yeah, the thing I found is that sometimes the game will randomly change a setting so I've, I've, I've randomly had it on full match just out of nowhere just in the middle of a game it turned to full match and whether that's a sort of key press well oh, they don't i don't even touch the keyboard so i don't think it is um or something else going on um a bit weird it's annoying when that happens because you kind of think it's just a really long highlight and then you know eventually you look and most of the time you're expecting or when you do that you never actually see it but then when it's there you think what well, how did that happen anyway here we go. Let's see what we can do. This is with a, a shorter passing style. Is this going to be the way we get up the table? As you can see, we're getting possession. 84% possession early on. But we're not having any shots. Chance early on for somebody. Nagash, he plays an impossible ball there. And they've played it out. And they've uh, well found our defence, Viduk who is getting his opportunity, Bialo, Colander, who just plays the most wonderful balls all the time. And it's brilliantly done. Dalby just waits there. Ball comes to him and we're 1-0 up. I mean, we're a bit lucky there. Did we deserve that? Do I care? I don't know. <laughs> Let's have a look. Colander, I mean, just lovely ball there. Finds the free man. Pereira plays it in. It's a bit of a mess in there. Did back show knock it down to Dalby if he did it was a great pass if it was just a bit of a sort of fluke well that's that's what we need we need a bit of a fluke and we're staying on balanced I normally start positive early on and then sort of flick around with that I don't quite know how we're going to come out the blocks this time and I think 1-0 up will stick with balance and they've got to come at us and at the minute it's a quiet game of football well, they've given us the ball. It's the uh, the new guy in... Well, he's not even new. But beautiful play. Dalby. He's got a chance to get two. He's not going to get this, is he? Oh, he almost did, you know. Just the wrong side of the post. Two shots. Two really good chances. Both to the same man. Right. Going to get creative. Pressured Vickney, but, you know, I don't expect him to get creative. He's fine. He can just do what he does. Back show. Looks like he's picked up a little bit of a knock, but it's sort of improving. But we've not seen much, and this is fine. We've we're gonna have to play with this tactic a little bit, I think, because this this is not the most creative method of um, playing. But it is negating anything they're doing at the minute. So I'm gonna praise them at this point. I think defensively we've been we've done well. It's it's a funny old game. And uh, we are 1 0 up. Dalby with a goal. You saw it. I'm not. Yeah, we'll encourage the players. I think that's a fair thing to say. Yeah, solid defensively. I think that was good. Uh, and then the other two, I don't think it's brilliant, but um, they probably could do better. I'm just going to. <sighs> Did I have it on fast? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really want to. I feel it's they all seem to be changing um, speeds just randomly. Ro Rogan, it doesn't seem the same speed, but I'm sure I'm not being on fast between highlights. Batness, there's going to be a chance for them. I mean, that was an easy, easy uh, chance, and we've done well here. Vickney plays it long, and that's completely useless. So well done, mate. This is better. Hadou's got it. Give it to Colander. Colander, play the pass. Hadou. Colander, he's going to play the pass. He does. It's Pereira, who's been awesome. Ball in, and boom, it's Nagash just over the top. One more from you, Mr. Nagash. You, you looked like you had so much to offer. Dalby. Pull back to... Vedvik, who doesn't look bad. He hasn't made any mistakes as far as I can tell. Back show. Oh, it's beautifully done. It's Nagash. I lay down the challenge and he picked it up and ate it like a bagel. Very good. Very good. I mean, I don't know how many bagels he finds on a football pitch. He'll probably get 
stuck in his, I was going to say his hooves, but boots, that's the word I was looking for. People don't have hooves unless they are, what's the thing with hooves? The part man, part bull with hooves from Narnia and, and other sort of legendary things. Oh, there it is. There is this, my, not a, it's a Senator Colander, 3-0. This, this looks much better. We get into grips with it now. Do we make some changes? No. No. We don't make changes at this point. Right, come on. Really happy with that. We're going to take off back and he's... Oh, he's got a yellow card. A player sent off in the last game, so I don't want that to happen again. I was going to say, why did we... We didn't need to see that. 4-0. Yeah, get creative, guys. They're probably not, oh, they inspired them. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, we'll make another change. Um, I'm going to bring Dalby off. I'm going to bring Homs on. See how he does. This is, this is better than I could have hoped for. Um, I thought it was going to be a real real challenging game and 72 minutes in we're 4-0 up which is very good very very good but they have a chance here beautiful ball over the top Donham Donham kebab oh what a save oh. <laughs> well I mean that was a nice finish from a very tight angle <coughs> it seems a little unfortunate here to I mean an amazing block, then an amazing save, and then that to go in like that. It's, yeah, you feel a bit hard done by here. Anyway, Colander beats his man, beats number one. Is he going to beat everyone? <laughs> he has, you know, he's beating another one. Go on, Colander. There we go, Pereira's in, and it's into the back of the net. It's back show, it's 5-1. You guys are seeing all the goals tonight. Brilliant stuff. Oh, brilliant. That's just fantastic. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Well, Pereira's looking a little bit knackered. I can't remember if I got the... No, there's a left back I forgot to bring on. Um, uh, we'll bring Vedvik off. He's not had much game time, and Brawson can come back on, try and get himself into a game. Right there, bloody hell, it's just highlight after highlight in the second half. I've had a really quiet first half, and we've only had 12 bloody shots. Just a second, just a second. No, we're on key highlights, that's fair. We're just going to play out to the end. I'll be happy with that. Cautious, show it on cautious at the end here. Looks like someone's got an opportunity into her do. Who who has signed permanent permanent deal with us now? Um, don't quite know how that happened, but he's he's done it. I didn't do it, but he's here here for good. As is Colander, so uh, yeah, it's not bad, is it? Or is it Brawson? I don't know. I think I think we've got all of them for good. Bialo and. It, <laughs> <laughs> well, not as the easiest chance of the day. 5-1. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look what that does to the team. As you can see, we are playing in the next round of the cup in a few days. And we've just sneaked into this top half uh, section. Um, so that's good. We've got a win over Tromso. Gone ahead of them. That's brilliant. We've got a run of home games to come. Better glimpse to our eighth. That's one we want to be winning. And against Valaranga again. There, that, those two are ones that we we want to be winning. When we come back, we'll, we've got a lot of home games, haven't we? We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll come back probably somewhere down here. Right then, guys. Thank you very much for dropping on by. I'll see you next week. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you next time for episode four with Viking. Goodbye. Goodbye.